Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> I'm really looking forward to be building this project out with you guys today. It's been a while since the Ashitaba has been flowering now. It is pushing well over eight feet. So if you include the raised bed, it is actually over nine feet. I'm gonna be building out the structure to place the, the shade cloth over the Ashitaba since they're a little more sensitive to the bright summer sun. I need to protect them. Currently, I've placed a, a shade cloth just literally setting right on top of the, the Ashitaba plants. Although that, you know, is a really quick and lazy way to do it and it's gonna work, especially for temporary use, uh, it's, it's okay, you know, but aesthetically, I would like to make a structure for it. Also, another advantage to, to building this quick structure is I thought we've been having mice issue here. They've just been having parties here night after night. And I think one of the ways to help kind of eliminate or reduce hiding spaces is to build a structure because it'll look more neat. And when things are a little more tidy, there's less space for them to hide because right now with the shade cloth literally sitting right on top of the Ashitaba plants, it just seems like a really cozy hiding space for them to kind of chill there. If you're looking for a really quick way to uh, put up a structure, I highly recommend using PVC pipes. That's what I'll be doing right now. It's, you know, very cost effective, very easy to build. All you need is a tool. So this is the tool I'll be using to uh, cut the PVC. I actually have pre-cut them at Lowe's, the home improvement store, because it's easier to take home with me since I don't have a truck or a van. So do your measurements. Hopefully you do it properly so that you can cut it at the right measurements. There's different types of connectors depending on, you know, what kind of corners or, or connecting points you want to make with them. This one I did not see. This is a five a five-way connector and uh, I did not see this being available at any of the local home improvement stores. So I actually purchased this one online. I'll link it down below if you guys are interested in looking for a little more specialty items or just to get things shipped to your house. A lot of stuff are available online now. So I will be using these to connect uh, everything together. And you know, when you don't need it anymore, you can just take them down pretty easily with PVC pipes. The reason I like this material is because not only fast and easy to build, it is very lightweight. So let me explain what I'll be doing here. You can use some rebar and just kind of like a concrete rebar to get it deep into the earth to kind of anchor, you know, the structure down that way. However, I already have some garden stakes on hand and these ones are five feet tall. Because this is temporary, I thought I can just use something I already have, which are these garden stakes. It's not going to be as strong, obviously, as like the concrete rebarbs, but I should be able to pull this project off just because it's temporary and it's in a very small space and a small structure as well. So basically I just put this down and then put the PVC pipe in here, just down like that. So that should be able to hold this down. And the reason why I'll be building this in sort of an awkward shape is because I have to kind of go wherever the soil allows me because there's some awkward giant rocks or concrete that are under the soil in this raised bed so i basically have to kind of keep you know pushing down the the garden stake to see wherever i can push it down deep enough that's why the structure is not going to be your normal rectangular shape or square shape let me just go grab those pre-cut pvc and i'll be right back in order to get these a little more stable, I've decided to cut these in thirds because I'll, you'll notice that, you know, using these, this is a three quarter inch pipe. So, oh, there's a hummingbird, hi. Darn, it wasn't fast enough. Only got a glimpse for you guys. So back to this, the PVC pipes, you'll notice that when it's really long, it would kind of like wave this thing is not solid because it is plastic and i'm using a three quarter inch you can use i think one inch would be better but in this small space i'm really trying to make the shape or the size more proportionate to uh, this space 
I think I should be able to stabilize it more by breaking down in thirds and then having the connector connect through each one. So let's take this one out first. So when you're putting down your stakes, really go down as deep as you can. Okay. Putting my weight on. Then to connect the shorter pipes together, I'm just going to be using these connectors. Pop this in. Let's get this next one ready. This is gonna be taller than this canopy, so I actually need to remove part of this silver uh, luminate canopy. I need to remove it from the other side, so I'll be right back. All right. <clears throat> okay, now we're gonna go back and start. Oh, a butterfly, you guys see that? <laughs> Planted a monarch uh, a milkweed outside, so it's attracting the butterflies. All right, so this next one, I know that this is going to connect to this. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this in. After I got home with all the materials, I've decided to modify the design a little bit to make the structure more more sturdy. So that means I am short of one of the connectors. This one I happen to have in hand already is a five-way connector and uh, I think it'll just work just as well, especially in the future if I want to add one more piping to kind of go across, you know, on this side, then it would be ready to go. Otherwise, I can easily switch this out. Go ahead, just going to connect these two. Okay. And you can also buy the connector that says like thread on it. It has these screw uh, cuts in there that you can turn and screw in the structure. I believe that should make it even more sturdy. This is what I have right now. Okay. To connect this, I'm just going to turn this away, the writing away, so everything just looks more cohesive. And then just put this down. There you go. Okay, make sure it fits in completely. Be more stable once I put in, you know, all four legs. Let's see how high this is. Oh, it is really tall. Maybe it doesn't need to be that tall. I think I might shorten this actually because this is 10 feet from the raised bed and originally I planned to be 10 feet from the ground. So I think I might take away one feet. There. Yeah, I think this is a lot safer. <laughs> So I changed my mind on the bottom. I think it's best to add one of these T-shaped connectors so I can add a horizontal bar on the bottom. I think that would make it more sturdy. So let's, let's take this out. So just to remove this thing. There you go. That's it, it's easy as that. And then I'm going to add one of these. Like 
so come to put this in here. is actually going to be on the ground because I just need it just to extend out a little more like further than the the uh, raised bed. Decided to just use the five-way connector for it to be a little stable on the floor this way so it's just gonna act as a um, um, the legs <laughs> to be on the ground. Right and it goes The next one, I'm just going to put this connector in here. Make sure it fits in there all the way. There it goes. Definitely fits in there. And the final one, I'm going to use this corner or elbow joint. This is a little difficult. I hope you guys can see. Basically, you just connect that together. Now that I got all the vertical pipes down, next I'm just going to be connecting these pipes that run horizontally. Make sure you push it so that they will get in there really snugly tight. At this point, I completely forgot to turn the microphone back on while recording. So here I am right now with the voiceover. I'm showing you that I'm using this five-way connector rather than the four-way, which I was supposed to do, but I didn't have enough of those parts because I changed my design. And so this is pretty much the frame of the shade canopy that I've built. It definitely does not look like normal style, but this fits my space better, I think. Here's a shot of the top view. You can see the structure that I've built is quite a bit taller than the shade cloth that's running across pretty much most of the patio space. So I'm just going to put this illuminate cloth on the top here, just kind of give it a little fix, and then I'm going to lay the burlap piece over the new structure that I built. There's actually three pieces of these burlaps, so I actually didn't like the look of this and uh, realized that I do have a large black shade cloth. So instead, I went ahead and I swapped that out after I shot this part. I literally just clipped the shade cloth onto the frame and I ended up with this black shade cloth that I like the look of it a lot more. It definitely looks a lot more uniformed with one big cloth over it. But hey, if you got pieces of things, feel free to use it especially if you got like a thin bed sheet and if this is just for temporary use you can definitely just use anything you got to because you really got to protect your plants if they really need to be. You can see the ashitaba here was it really wants to get taller so hopefully with this taller structure it will allow it to continue to grow taller and I will keep the shade cloth a little more loose so that it has room to kind of push through if it needs to continue growing. It is finally done. I'm really happy with it. It took me a little longer than expected. 
due to lack of experience, you know, when you draw something on paper, for me, I forgot to take or I couldn't imagine how, you know, wind would affect the the structure and so I had to kind of modify it a little bit as I go but if you do this in a you know and you've actually had the the stakes deep into the earth if you're able to do that you're going to secure it a lot better and to stick with the traditional you know square or rectangular design where you actually have all the pipes connected then it would really hold each other uh, hold on to each other and it'll be a lot sturdier that way so this is kind of like a funky version that I did that would work for my specific space due to, like I said earlier, a little difficult to get uh, get the stakes into the ground. So that's it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you are doing some sort of projects for your garden, let me know down below what you guys are up to. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit that bell notification button. If you want to see what's going on in my life, more, you know, happening in real time, be sure to follow me over on Instagram and Facebook. You can also go check out my website if you like my work and want to support me that way. There's some seeds and plants available for you guys there. I'll leave the links of everything that I've mentioned, including the materials that I've used in this episode, just in the box below. Thank you guys. Happy gardening. Stay cool and hydrated. See you right back here in the next one. Bye.